Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and I'm going to give you a faster run through of the LSP Newborn Digital Background Photoshop Actions using the LSP Boho Dreams bed here. I'm going to be compositing in this image here by Anna Brandt. The image is edited and ready to go. I'd recommend editing, uh, skin editing your image first. You need to make sure the image um, you've shot that you're going to be compositing is shot on a smooth fabric that's suitable for the digital background. If you're using a digital background with fur, for example, you're going to want to make sure you've shot the baby on the fur so you can composite in nice and quick. If you're using a flat digital background, um, you can go ahead and get started. If you're using an LSP digital, one of mine, you will notice you have um, a load of layers kind of preloaded in um, along with the composite here. For example, you can um, you've got the option to add a pillow, add the blankie, uh, things like that. For the full uh, complete video tutorial about compositing babies, you can visit the LSP YouTube channel um, and watch video number one, which is 20 minutes long and I go into so much detail about layer masks, about adjustment layers, loading actions, editing baby, um, painting on and off, hiding, showing everything you need to know uh, when it comes to blending for digitals. But for this video, I'm going to move super fast. So to get started, you click here on the Place Baby Here layer, come up to the Action Palette and hit Add Baby. Locate the image of baby on the computer and hit Place. This will add the baby as a smart object here. At this point, you need to check the lighting and make sure it matches up with the lighting in the digital. If it doesn't, you can right click and select Flip Horizontal to match the lighting up. Hit enter or the checkbox up the top to continue and the action will carry on playing out. The next step of the action is you will see the baby become smaller and to resize better for your digital and transparent. So I'm just going to move baby here. Beautiful image by Anna Brandt. All I need to fix is this little diaper area here. At this point you can rotate baby um, because the image is semi-transparent it should allow you to place baby quite well um, within the digital here. And you can always go back and change this more later because everything is completely non-destructive and all the layers are still open for you to carry on editing. So you need to grab a small white brush and baby has now disappeared. I like 100% uh, opacity, 50% flow. Make sure it's hard and you can use this to start painting baby in. Now if you've shot baby on a similar background fabric um, this is going to be really easy for you. If you've shot baby on a different fabric you're going to have to zoom in close and really make sure that cutout works. Because I'm on CC I'm going to use the select subject option here. Um, I'm going to inverse this selection. Grab a black brush and paint some of this white halo away here. So once you've added baby in you see here um, the blanket that baby is on is a little bit lighter than the blanket in the digital. But that's fine because we can mix and match blend and um, sort all this out. So I'm just going over really lightly there, just making sure the cutout is good. You can move on to step two, which is um, to add the extra baby blending layers. What these will do, well, they were going to play out and they add um, blending layers above and below your baby layer here. Shadows over the baby, dark and lift and lighten. And underneath your baby, you have gentle shadow and heavy shadow. So you can use this to oh, make sure you're on a nice soft brush <laughs> to add some shading in around baby if you need to. You can also add this to add some shading over baby if you want to. Yeah. You can darken the baby layer if you want to or brighten it up. You can do anything you need to do. So I'm just selecting these and painting on or off as required. When you're happy with uh, the blending layers there, you can add step three, which is blend the colours. It does it all for you. All you need to do is select and paint on. Super easy. So we have the blend the tones layer here. This is for, um, it kind of takes all the tones, the initial tones in your digital and um, allows you to blend any colours that you think might clash just a little bit. You might like the colour it suggests for you, you might not, but it's worth a try. So I'm just coming off baby 
just noticed that the um, selection there is a little bit hard on the baby layer so you can go back at any point um, to the baby layer to any of these layers I said they all remain open they are non-destructive and they, they remain completely easy to edit you also have vibrant tones you have a color change which you can um, paint on and change the color again that's all explained in video one the next step is optional white or um, or very dark background so you can play this if baby is on a white blanket or a very dark blanket so I'll play the blending whites action here and this again will set up um, some layers above my baby layer that will only affect the baby they won't affect the whole background so they're completely clipped on which means um, you can paint and paint over the baby um, adapt the baby to the scene and the digital background will not change so I'm just going to use the whites down um, a little bit just to take some of these whites down um, to match up with the digital background a little better. When you're happy with the baby edit, the next step is to edit the background. So I'm going to play the uh, the background edit for light digitals here and you can use this to further blend the background to the baby if you need to. I don't think I really need to too much with this image but if you want to the options are there. And you can simply, I'm just going to come up here and turn the baby layer, uh, close down that baby group there, just to neaten up. So that's a before and after of the baby. The background we can lift and whiten, add contrast, add vignette, cool down, warm up, lighten. I might leave the lighten on, I feel it blends with the initial tones of the baby a little better. And the baby layer again, you know, I need to edit this little patch of diaper showing there. So I can simply locate the baby, double click, it will open the baby on its own layer and I can super quickly fix this area. And I'm just going to use the clone stamp here just to kind of um, clone it over this. And when you're done, you can simply flatten down, hit Ctrl or Command S or come up here to File save and you save back to the digital background so you can go ahead and close this one and you can see that area has now been fixed so that's a very brief overview using the lsp newborn digital background actions and the lsp boho dreams bed these are available at www.lsp-actions.com